Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Saad Mahajan, and in today's video, we're going to be taking an overview related to Amazon Document DB, followed by a demo related to Amazon Document DB. So let's dive right into the video. So, firstly, let's discuss about what is Amazon Document DB. It is basically a MongoDB compatible database. So if you use MongoDB databases for your workloads and you're looking to move it to the cloud, you can move with you can go forward with document DB. It's a fully managed service by AWS. It is highly scalable, so it keeps scaling according to your workload that you have. It does support replication, so data is actually replicated across three availability zones, which again provides you high availability. And the document DB storage grows automatically, you know, according to your demand, that's where the scalability comes into play. And the storage, that is where your data is stored, increases in increments of 10 GB. So this was a quick run through it related to what document DB is. It's basically a MongoDB database in the AWS cloud. So let's quickly dive into a demo wherein you guys can see um, how to create a document DB on the AWS console. Okay, guys, as you can see, I am on the AWS console and to be more specific, I am in the database service section of document DB. That's a MongoDB compatible database. You can see it's fast scalable and highly available and of course you guys can go ahead and also create uh, a document db database as you can see there is a free tier available 30 day free trial up to 750 hours on a t3 medium instance and all of this good stuff so let's quickly go ahead and click on create a, a document db cluster and you can see we have two cluster types. Do you want to go on an instance base or do you want to go on elastic base? So it all depends which use case you have. You can see that both of them are pretty good, um, but we will just stick with the instance based cluster. We're going to leave all the things to default. Of course, you can choose an engine version if you have a preference, but I'm just going to stick to the default version. Um, now, when you are choosing your instance class please make sure that you choose the one that is dbt3 medium it will be mentioned it's the free tier eligible and the only reason why i'm telling you to choose that one is so that you aren't charged for this document db now you can of course choose the number of instances that you want to be deployed in your cluster i'm just going to go ahead and change this to one and now you have your storage configuration. Now you have two options. Either you can go with the standard one or you can go with an IO optimized. Again, we aren't going to do much with this database. I'm just going to create this database. So I am sticking with the standard storage configuration. Um, you know, do you want to set up any connect connectivity? So are you looking to connect this document DB from an EC2 compute resource? Again, I am not looking to do that, but if you are looking to do that, you can quickly go ahead and set it up right over here. But and of course, your authentication, how are you looking to authenticate with your, um, you know, um, what what we call it, um, document DB. Um, you can just quickly go ahead and say anything. I'm going to just say test account again. I'm going to go ahead and delete this document DB post creation, so it doesn't matter much. We can just provide in some password. Hope the password matches. And here you go. It shows you your estimated cost. Again, you are f eligible for one year. One. Um, so you can see it mentioned over here. DB3 medium instances are eligible for a one month Amazon DB free trial for new users. Again, do make sure this is only for new users. So if you have created something in the past, please make sure um, you do not create one or you're ready to the bear the costs. Of course, you have a lot of different advanced settings that you can look into. And we can go ahead and click on create cluster. OK, I'm pretty sure um, it's asking port options. Um, I'm just going to give a random port number over here. I'm just creating it just to show you guys um, so I yep there we go all of the options that we did select were correct and as you can see we are creating our document DB cluster 
so it does take a couple of minutes so you can let it run and create and then of course you can go around play with it so i hope you guys did like this video you got an understanding related to what document db is how can you create one on the aws console and what are the different options available so i hope you guys did like this video if you did please make sure to leave a like do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover i hope you guys have a great day ahead see ya take care bye bye